All right, so the first thing you want to do is click the capital and press Control 1. And then you're going to put the capital on the hotkey for number 1. So then you want to press D twice. And then you're going to create two dogs and then press C five times. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't have to be exact. All right, so then you want to select these guys right here, give or take. It doesn't have to be exact either. And then Control 2 and press L. And it's going to put them on Explore. At this point, you want to choose your civilization. Since I'm in single single player mode right now, it's going to pause the game for me. But in a real game, it doesn't pause for you while you do this, you know, when you're playing online. So you want to choose your Civ. This is my Civ for pre for P2N clubs. And then you press accept. So let me pause the game. So the object or or the goal here, the objective here is you want so look at look look at your resources. You have plenty of food, plenty of wood, plenty of of stone and not a lot of gold and iron. So to get an army quick, you need to focus on iron first. So that's the key. You want to put six people on two iron mines. So that's 12 people on iron in total. And the rest can go on food and and maybe a little bit of wood. And then later on, stone. But you don't actually get gold up until the stone age. Um, so yeah, let's press the F F11 so you can see this clock right here. So this is a good way to keep track of what you're doing and where you should be, etc. So let's unpause. These guys are gonna keep exploring. So while they explore, you want to build two barracks. So you press B and then click to build barracks. B, click, you build another barracks. Send your two dogs on explore. And then you cr you press houses, you get E, and E again, and you make houses. So that's so that's what you want to do. All right, so let's explain why I just did that. Um, the reason why I did this is because if you get two barracks in the beginning, that's really all you need for now because if you make more you're not gonna have the resources to really support that army you can't make that you're not gonna be using the third barracks because you're not gonna have enough resources quickly enough to be using them you only need two barracks to constantly be able to produce clubs you know with a nice frequency uh, so um, you, then you need the two houses because the houses give your troops morale within the capital range so let's click the capital you see here that green line shows the range of the capital so anything any fighting that happens inside that range your troops get morale meaning they're harder to kill the more houses you have the harder it is to kill your troops or your citizens so it can be extremely good when defending your base um, so Remember, the first thing you want to do is, is explore to find two iron, two iron mines. So here's one. And, and the other, okay, so there's stone. There's some hunt there that you're going to want to use very quickly. And then here's the other one. So those are your two iron mines. That's, that's what you want to get first. So let's unpause. And let's press, con just pl just let's press two, which selects the citizens that you put in control to, and then you click. So you can see that's useful because then you don't have to go find each and every single citizen and tell them to go back individually. So it just saves time. It's great. So at this point, and I'm going very slow here for you guys, you want to get people to create settlements. With N, you make the settlements. Oh, man, this is this sucks. This is a crappy-ass place for settlements. All right, so... Um, you want to get two towers up, I mean towers up, really quickly. You want four towers at first. Alright, so six people in iron. Alright, so look. You want to build the uh, settlements in the direction of the enemy. So the enemy is about over here, as we've seen from the dog. Always, the, if, especially in a 1v1, the enemy is going to be opposite from you. So if I'm here, naturally, you, c you can assume that the enemy is going to be around here. So... If 
this is an opening, so you want to block so that way your citizens are harder to get. The reason is, if the troops are coming from here, they're going to attack the buildings first, so your your citizens have that split second to run away, which can make a huge difference. So, you want to keep that general rule. So, you see, in this opening here, set settlement in that direction. Normally, I would have preferred to build a settlement here, so that way I can use one settlement for these two mines, but I, it can't because of the stupid hill. <laughs> All right, so let's unpause and keep doing this. All right, so double click the barracks, put them on control three, click rally point, and then press S as many times as you can to make clubs. So then you want to get on the forage patch. So let's say here. In this case, I'm not following the rule. I'm going to make it in this direction. And the reason is because I want it to be close to these patch of horses. Hunt gathers more food quicker than forage patches and even farms and fishing. So you want to really use your hunt before anything else really. The thing is your hunt runs out really quickly if you're not careful. So you want to keep an eye out for that. So let's unpause and keep going. So while they're doing that, you want to get more people here, get a tower going, probably on this nice hill. And then, and then, uh, you, okay, good. So at this point, you don't have, you don't have really um, enough wood to make another settlement for that second forage patch, which is okay. That's usually how it's going to be. That is how it's going to be, you know, it's a general rule. So you want to take your four clubs immediately, put them on control four, and then send them to the enemy's base to attack. That's really the way you want to do it. So this is the reason why. Think of it this way. You start out with 20 citizens. If you take out five citizens from your of your enemy without assuming you know you lose very few clubs. Um you just took even if you lose all four, you actually just took out a fourth of their economy. Because remember the citizens are the ones producing the you know and increasing and and just gathering resources. So they're your economy. So by killing four, five of them, you, you just took out a fourth of their economy. So a good rush can be devastating. It can win a game very easily. So we got our six people on iron right there. We got people building building a tower there. And yeah, and we got our, our people attacking here. So you want to attack with control click. Control clicking on the floor around here. You see how you get orange circles? These orange circles mean that they're going to attack the first things they see. So it's good to attack like that. And then you can run away. You don't have to go there and attack the buildings and die. Just kill their citizens. That's, that's what you want to do. So then you want to go over here. Probably it will be a smart idea to build a tower here. So you, I'm going to build that tower there. And then you can press you, know, you can press one and then create more citizens with the C. All right, so fairly early on, you might want to populate the uh, a settlement, or I mean a a mine. So I'm going to do this one, boop, and put that on control two. And then create more citizens. All right, and then uh, keep pumping out swords. So here are my swords again. Then you want to. Once you, once you get the resources for it, you want to upgrade speed. One speed, one health. No, one speed, one attack, one health, and then another attack. And then you have to decide between another health and a speed. Don't ever give give them armor. It's not worth it. So usually I'll go health, but sometimes I go with the extra speed so I can move really quickly. All right. So yeah, you you want to use your mouse to move around. You don't want to use the key, the keyboard, you know, the arrow keys. That's just not an efficient way to work. So okay, so tell them to go hunt. So uh, I'm probably gonna want to build another tower, and I'm probably gonna want to build it here, even though I don't, I'm not, I don't actually have people here right now. But I'm probably gonna build it here. All right. So get more people and food. All right. So look. One speed, no oh, crap, crap, I don't have food. So look, you can force feed like that. All right, so 
So one speed, one attack. Okay, gotta wait for for those. All right. So I'm going slow here, obviously. So assuming you're not playing a player with that uses a lot of religion, you wanna get a temple up by F1120 at the latest, at the very latest, because you can get profited, and they can earthquake your entire base or they can plague your army or your citizens and that's just gonna kill you so let's hope that doesn't happen okay okey dokey so I'm going slow here like I said I'm getting a nice army out so a good thing to do is before your dogs get killed, hopefully you want to you might want to place them in good spots. Like here would be a good spot, and and I'm guessing probably about here would be another good one. So now you have dogs here, so you can see you can you can see what they're up to in that near area. So you can see I can see their town center there. I can see these citizens. And I can see there's not really that many troops around here in any case. So by hiding your dogs in trees, your cl the, the enemy clubs can't get them. Towers can if they're close enough, but other than that, they can't get killed. So you can really make use of that and see if you're being if you're de if they're sending troops over to attack you. So it's a really good way to 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 know what to expect in the game. So let's do let's do a health and another attack. Actually, no, I'm going to do another health. There we go. So here's a little trick that you might want to do. When you attack a hippo, don't kill it there. Make it follow you to your, to your capital. So that way, when you kill it, you can just deposit the resources right there. You see? So instead of walking back and forth, back and forth, you know, it's right there. Trust me, it makes a big difference. You can do that. All right, so you know I have plenty of of wood, so I'm gonna build a temple now. So I'm probably gonna build my temple like here. All right, and then I'm gonna get this person to build me this here. So th this is actually a very interesting way to to build, because now if you notice, p enemies won't be able to go through here. They're gonna have to go around there to get to these guys or they can come in through here but then they have to deal with this tower so so you can see you know you can do very cool little things like that later on what I could also do is I could build you know like a house here maybe or a house here and make make it even trickier for them to go through so I haven't really been attacking that much but you want to be attacking a lot more than I am you know in order to keep slowing them down don't waste army. Don't sit there and die to their towers, but you want to keep attacking. So so at this point, you might want to get a few people on stone. This person is doing nothing. You can check for idle, idle citizens by pressing shift and tab. 